All right, so notice that in the first system, I substituted that x value with 4y plus 1 because x equals 4y plus 1. Now, from this point, what do you have to do in order to solve or take care of what's in the parentheses? What do you have to do? What do you know when a number is next to a parentheses? It means to multiply. So, what is it called, though? Distributive, Distributive property. So, you have to distribute the 2 inside the uh, parentheses. So, you're going to use distributive property. That's where you're going to multiply 2 by 4y and 1. So when you multiply 2 times 4y, you get 8y plus 2 times 1 gives you 2. So when you distribute it, you should get 8y plus 2. And now I'm just going to bring down the rest. So negative 3y equals 12. Now from this point, what do you have to do from here? Combine like terms. So I'm going to put combine like terms. So what are my like terms? Okay, so 8y and negative 3y. And then we know that 2 is not like 8y and negative 3y. So an 8y and a negative 3y gives you what? It gives you 5y. And then I'm just bringing down the plus 2 and then equals 12. Now from here, what do you have to do? What kind of equation do you have now? Two-step equation. And in order to solve it, what? You have to get y by itself. So we have to solve for y. So we're solving for y, negative 2 to both sides. And when you subtract 2 from both sides, what are you left with? 5y equals 10. And then you have to do what from here? Divide by 5. Yeah, divide both sides by 5. And when you divide both sides by 5, y equals 2. you get y equals 2. Now, keep in mind that you've got a y value. That means, when you get this y value, that means that that's part of a solution. So up here, I'm going to put that my y equals 2. And if I know that y equals 2, how do I find x? If I know that y equals 2, how do I find x? Okay, so you have to plug in 2 into the 4y plus 1. You can plug it in there. All right, so let's do that. Or you can plug it in the x equals 4y plus 1. And I think Randy said to plug it in... Plug it in the second one. It might be easier to come up with that y value. So where you see y, you're going to plug in the value, which is 2. And then everything else is brought down. Okay. Now, solving that, you get 4 times 2, which is 8. And 8 plus 1, which gives you... 9. So we got 4 plus or 4 times 2 which is 8 plus 1 which gives you 9 as an answer. Now, if you know that x equals 9, now x equals 9 and y equals 2, tell me what are you going to do from here? Yeah, you're going to have to plug them back in because you're not really sure whether this coordinate point satisfies both equations. So you have to plug it back in to make sure that it satisfies both. And if it doesn't satisfy both, then your point that you got is not correct. And I have to say that um, 
That has come up before. All right, so plugging it back into the equation, you have 2 times 9 minus 3 times 2, which equals 12. And plugging in those values, you have 9 and 2. All right, let's start with the first one. 2 times 9 gives you 18 is correct. So you get 18 minus 3 times 2, which gives you 6. And does that equal, does that equal 12 as an answer? Yes, it does. 18 minus 6 is 12, and 12 equals 12. I'm going to put a check mark there because that point, 9, 2, the coordinate point, 9, 2, is on that graph. And remember, if you only have one point that satisfies the system, then you have intersecting lines. All right, so let's plug into the second one. We know that 9 is, or X is 9, and we know that Y is 2. And we've really, we've already looked at this one because this is how we solved the last one for X. So what is 4 times 2? 8. It's 8. And 8 plus 1? 9. Which is 9. And 9 equals 9. So we know that that, that point, um, X equals 9 and Y equals 2, is a solution to the intersecting lines. And here's your system. And this point is the point of intersection. Now, I haven't said elimination. This has all been substitution. Today has been substitution. What process should I take? And when you're substituting, that means if you have an X equals or a Y equals, you're substituting that value that follows the equal sign into the equation in order to find an X or Y value. So we're doing substitution. We haven't done elimination yet. All right, so number three, problem number three. Notice how I checked these off, 12 equals 12 and 9 equals 9. That was your points being plugged in. 